Is Your Heart a Precious Friend, a Casual Friend, or Your Enemy? by Pascal Bauté. If you have a healthy heart, you have a healthy life. When you have a healthy life, you have hope. And that is everything. An Arabian proverb. Heart disease is a sedentary, foodborne illness. Cardiologist. Bad news first. Fact. The leading cause of death today in the USA is heart disease or heart failure occurring at 64.5 years on average. Moreover, in one out of five cases, no warning happens. Heart failure can be a silent killer. Your heart cannot be up to the lifelong task of continuing healthy functioning unless you have decided it is your precious friend to respect and honor daily. Good news. In the Bible, the heart is cited 826 times, according to the Strong Concordance. This term stands for the inner part of a person. Heart refers to the entire self, the driving force behind our personality. In other words, our inner self is what is being described when we say she has a good heart or he has a great heart. However, we begin with biological considerations to understand the urgency of heart care in today's Internet world. The best news is that your heart health is between your ears, including your attitude and appreciation for all that it does. Let's proceed with some concrete facts. First, consider the incredible, exquisite machine your heart is. Not much bigger than your closed fist, weighing only 9 to 12 ounces, and tucked in the safest position in your body, immediately under your sternum, in the middle of your chest. Your heart beats approximately 78 times per minute, unceasingly, incessantly, with hardly ever a pause in its four-chamber, ceaseless rhythm. Your heart serves some 600 muscles, 300 joints, 26 feet of your intestine, 76 organs, and a million microscopic sphincter muscles. It powers 11 complex organ systems, such as your liver, which is the in-house automatic pharmacy, delivering chemicals, removing toxins, and storing energy. It fuels some 50 billion neurons in your brain and a total of some 76 trillion cells overall. By the way, your brain is the most bloodthirsty of all the organs, requiring 20% of your blood, although it weighs only a couple of pounds. Your lungs use 400 million tiny cells to get rid of the waste product, carbon dioxide, and refuel your entire body with oxygen. The heart pumps 100,000 times each day to deliver 2,000 gallons of blood. With so many needs for fuel over an average lifetime, your heart will deliver a million barrels of blood, which is equivalent to four super tankers. That is how much work your precious heart does if you treat it right. The best medicine for your heart is at the end of your fork, said one cardiologist, frustrated with the dietary choices of so many of his patients. A good case can be made that poor eating choices are the primary cause of cardiac disease. It may be harder to give up that extra cookie than to go outside and take your daily regular walk. Certainly, both eating choices and exercise are major contributors to our astonishing death rate from heart failure. If you have any doubt, you can look around and see for yourself the high rate of obesity among men, women, and children of all ages. Even if you are careful with appropriate diet, lifestyle, and stress management, you may not live long or healthy without regular exercise. If you exercise occasionally, that much is still better than none, but a vital secret to heart health is regular cardio exercise. As we age, our heart does not slow down, but it slowly shrinks in size, losing precious cells. We cannot make it work more by sitting on the couch or in front of the computer. Moreover, we know that frequent exercise is also a remedy and a cure for diabetes. Exercise also helps control weight, energizes the immune system, and stimulates brain cells with mood-lifting hormones. Such natural endorphin highs could be a splendid contribution to mental health. During the past 10 years, I have lost 10 friends, all about my age. None of them had any regular exercise routine, not even walking. My heart, less than 1% of my body weight, does all the work to keep me going and well. I hope to do better. So your heart needs regular exercise, without question, to feel young, vital, and strong. My context, now going on 94 years of age, I was lucky at age 15 to fall in love with cross-country running, which was my needed escape from too much awareness of the conflict between my parents, my bedroom being next to theirs. That running, with my expansive imagination, also fueled my lifelong passion to stretch the envelope, to choose the difficult over the easy, and to challenge myself. So I have run or swam all my life. I see myself as a miracle of serendipity, with setbacks becoming new doorways. Recommended amounts, in general, are at least 150 minutes a week of moderate exercise or 120 minutes of cardiovascular exercise. 
I am currently swimming three times each week for a total of about two hours. This includes some sprinting during my swimming in order to send fresh neurons into my brain and immune system. On off days from swimming, I have devised an easy chair regime of 12 exercises for legs and arms. I must admit that one of the reasons why my wife at 89 and I, pushing 94, are so active mentally and physically is that we have been on ski lifts together well more than a thousand times. My longevity, I confess, is being blessed with marrying an adventurous, outdoor-oriented farm girl accustomed to working from dawn to dusk. As you consider whether to make that incredible little heart of yours your precious friend, do not presume to add any big new change without conferring with your family or primary care physician. By the way, VA provides regular recreational sports programs for veterans with sight loss. It is never too late to start. My son-in-law at age 54 just received a double lung transplant after three months in the hospital. He had to start from scratch, one breath and one small step at a time. Now, weeks later, he is strong enough to drive himself to physical therapy. It's never too late when you start small. You have only one heart. It determines how long and how healthy you will live. Make sure it knows how much you love and care for it. Prevention is better and easier to accomplish than a cure. Your heart will love you and keep performing when you ask it to do a little more each day to stay stronger by regular exercise. Last word. Your heart is your most precious friend. Let your friend know that fact by some appropriate loving. If you treasure your heart, you will always have reason for hope. Blinded veteran Pascal Bauté writes about resilience, wellness, gratitude, and grace in both print and ebook. He was honored to be inducted into the Kentucky Veterans Hall of Fame Honor Roll Class of 2018 for outstanding military and community service. The commendation reads in part, Mr. Pascal Bauté's service to his communities is voluminous, a testament to his love of God and an insatiable passion to help others even after being diagnosed by VA as catastrophically disabled, legally blind.